Hey guys, welcome to this video. I'm just gonna make a real quick one while I'm streaming. Uh, I'm streaming right now, so definitely come check out the stream if you're watching this video. But basically, huge news, Anthropic finally supports one million context window. This is absolutely massive for the community. It is only Sonnet, but I will say right now that Sonnet 4 is actually a very capable model. When Opus runs out, it's not like I freak out and I can't use Claude code anymore. And the one mil token context is just absolutely massive for Sonnet. Now, if you don't know, for a very long time, it's been 200,000 as an absolute max. There was an option if you paid them 5,000 a month to get five, um, 500K context window. Obviously that was ridiculous, but yeah, longer context means being able to look at code on Claude code specifically. And I'm probably gonna look into this as soon as I've finished streaming, basically creating a system where Claude code reads all of the code kind of as a checker before it makes any changes to it. Because right now what it seems to do is it seems to read parts of it, but it doesn't read all of it because it's always wary of context. Now, another really good thing about this is you won't have to slash compact anymore, which is huge, huge news. So the main thing that I'd say that this is a huge update for is this one right here, large scale code analysis, load entire code bases, including source files, tests and documentation. Claude, this is basically what I was just saying. This is actually massive. I'm not that bothered about the other stuff like document synthesis doesn't really bother me. Context aware agents is obviously important. And now you can do things like scrape websites with Claude Sonnet and not worry about, you know, something being too large. This is massive for Grove because a lot of stuff that we do is like, you know, we, we compress 1000 products into a prompt and get it to sort it. And we were using Sonnet for that, but now we can use Sonnet 4 with a 1 million context window. Now, obviously the kind of annoying thing about this is the price increase. I'm really just why, like, yeah, it's annoying, but I guess they have to cover their servers. I guess it's like a server based thing. Like probably their stuff is just getting absolutely destroyed by it. And this is interesting. Customer spotlight, bolt.new. Bolt.new transfers web development by integrating Claude into their browser based development platform. That's pretty interesting that they've put that there. So would I use this over Opus? I think it's situational. If I'm going like deep into like trying to find a problem with some code or something and you need to really dig deep into it, then I think that Sonnet 4 is gonna be the answer to that. I don't know how this is gonna work with mixing with Opus 4 and Opus 4.1 inside Claude code. I'm not sure how they're gonna handle that. Maybe you can't swap, swap, maybe you can't swap models anymore, which would be a bit of a shame, but I guess it is what it is. There's always positives and negatives. But overall, this is an absolutely massive update that I've been waiting for for ages. And now that it's here, it's just not, it's not what I actually need right now. What I would love is Opus 4.1 to have this. If Opus 4.1 had this inside Claude Code, then I would be extremely interested. But, you know, Sonic 4 is good. Don't get me wrong. I do like Sonic 4 and I do use it for coding. It's just for some really like fiddly bits and stuff like that. You really do need Opus 4.1, so. But yeah, overall, this is a huge update. Really, really excited to see where Anthropic goes with this. They did say that they're gonna be releasing more and more improvements to their models in the next few weeks. So I will try and keep everyone up to date with that as well. Shout out to the stream. Thank you for telling me that this was an update because this is a really big update that I've been waiting for for ages. Thanks for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.